go find your partner Tybalt and then report for your briefing. Sounds good. All right, let's uh, see if we can find Tybalt. Tybalt. The dragons are a threat to everyone, Shashu. I'm pleased your village has joined the fight against them. Although war is strange to Quaggins, Quaggins will help the Order of Whisperers in any way Quaggins can. That's cool, wow. We got Quaggins support and everything, an Order agent. Keep doing your work, keep just shooting things away. Let's see if you can find Tybalt. I read the report. The mission was a success. Real. There you are, Agent. Please follow. Oh, I guess we follow her. Listen to the mission briefing. Listen to the mission briefing. I guess we go this way. Uh, real. Oh yeah, real dark water. There we go. Let's follow her. We should probably. We could probably color ourselves to like red. I think that'd be kind of cool. You know, color with within the, like the order colors. Maybe add some kind of red to what we got. I don't know. That'd be kind of neat. We have a situation of critical importance. We've lost contact with Yang Eisen, one of our agents in Lion's Arch. I fear he's gone rogue and turned against us. If so, he could be taking a lot of secrets with him. The very heart of the Order is in jeopardy. I plan to send two of our best operatives to track Yang down. Was Yang aware of the Master's true identity? I don't think so, but it's possible. We had to trust Yang a great deal in order to move him into a prominent position in the city. Agent, it's time to promote you to Lightbringer, our highest class of operative. Congratulations. Too bad it comes on the heels of such trouble. We're relying on you to handle this situation. No trouble that Tybalt and I can't handle. If Yang Isen's betrayed the Order, we'll see he never shares what he knows. Real, brief the operatives. Then return to Lion's Arch and continue in your guise as the Commodore's assistant. Keep an eye out for anything unusual. By your will, Preceptor. The plot thickens and looks like one of our Order members has actually turned gone rogue. Speaking about rogue, I think it's about time we maybe see if we can copy the color coloration of our Order members. I kind of would like to do that. We can mix and match colors every now and then, but I kind of want to take time to see if we can play around with some of the dyes. And the die system is just absolutely fun with this game. I absolutely love it. All right, so what can we do with the red? We can probably, we can't really do. This is the darkest red we got so far. So let's go ahead and see if we can apply it to most of the gear. Uh, we'll apply. Let's see. This we can, we can make this like that. Good. And then, well, colors everything for some reason with red. I don't know why. Uh, with gloves we can make that. Well, yeah, we can make that red on the outside like that. And then the boots, hmm, uh, the boots I can't really see well, we can make boots like this. And then the, this cloak, I guess this red would be fine, I think, nope, secondary red, that would be kinda cool. Alright, now, we got ebony, we don't have, that's I think the darkest color we got so far, we don't have like, pure black, so, that's pretty, I don't know, I, I wish we had like pure black, that'd be actually really cool, but I guess ebony will work, ebony will do the job, I guess, maybe. Let's see, we could, ooh, that's what we could do, like this. Apply, like, dark, like, dark uh, coloration like that. And then for the main, we could apply, see, they got, like, pure black, which is really cool. I wish we had, like, really dark black. I wish that we had that, but I think that can be unlocked, unlocked like, I don't know, later. Like, midnight fire, midnight ice kind of thing. Or, like, one of the darker ones, like, shadow, purple, shadow, yellow. That'd be really cool to unlock later. But I guess we, that's the only thing we can really do is kind of go with... The color of ebony, really. Let's see, let's go ahead and color in ebony. There we go. That's colored. We can color like that. Uh, with head headpiece, we could probably keep it red and then keep the secondary as black. I think that'd be kind of cool. There we go. And then this we could make red. We could probably leave little hands of silver or try to apply. No, pastel lemon would not be really good, I don't think. <laughs> we could probably keep it with silver. That's what we could do. See red shoulders. Shoulder wise, we could probably do like that. There we go. And then ebony. Let's see. This could be. Eh, we could probably keep that uh, nice silver stone color. No, well, matte. That'd be kind of. Well, no, that'd be a little too bright. We're gonna keep it stone color. There we go. We're gonna keep the secondary with stone. All right. It looks kind of. Well, no. Eh. <laughs> Trying to figure out best color coloration for everything. It's. Kind of difficult, but at the same time, it's kind of neat that you can actually, you know, play around with colors like the way that you are able to in the game and stuff. 
Uh, we could probably make the gloves red. We sort of look like we belong in the order. That'd be... I mean, I don't know. We kind of match? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just roll with this for a bit and see what we can do from there. All right. Let's talk to Real Darkwater and see what else we can do. Actually, we got some mail over here. Let's go and open. Recruiting the Quaggans. Oh, wait. We already did that. Oh, wait. We're gonna be recruiting the Quaggans to our side now? That'd be kind of cool, actually. All right. Let's go ahead and uh, talk to Real Darkwater. See what, she has, she has, see what she has to say. Your last mission was dangerous. I certainly off for another for another Sassoon. It's kind of for you to worry, but we can handle anything. Yeah, there you go. Partnership is good, but there will come a time when you have yourself to rely on. Make my words, uh, Lightbringer. I'm not sure what Lightbringer rank really stands for. I'm going to have to weaken that. Uh, but I think we get like above mid. I don't know. Uh, noted. Now, what are the mission details? Yang Isen is a keeper of beasts in Lion's Ark. Whether for back alley pit fights or grand radiation pits, he is your man. That gives him a lot of access and prestige, doesn't it? Precisely, but it also makes him a target for anyone disappoint disappointed in the fights. Yang Isen is missing, and he may and he has many enemies. Got it. Good luck, Labringer. Thank you. We'll keep you posted. Alright, what can we go from here? Let's go ahead and go do this. I guess the main campaign is actually continuing. It's a lot it's a lot longer than I thought it would be. I kinda of thought it would just kind of end with the quagans, but apparently not. Unless this is another tier. Nope. It keeps us at same level 50. Let's see, what can we go from here? We need to go over here to see suspicious activity. So let's go ahead and go to East Ward Waypoint and see if you can look through Lanzark. So apparently also, gotta say, Lanzark supposedly is being rebuilt, which I am excited for. I think it's gonna look beautiful when it's rebuilt and everything. So let's go ahead and see what we can do in Lance Arc, you know, before wrapping this up, I, th I gotta do also, you know, another more recordings. Hopefully, this mission quest story thing is not gonna last too long, but at the same time, it would be kind of cool if it would be, you know, like a whole sto excuse me, like a whole story arc that actually lasts long. I mean, these missions do last pretty long while. I'm not even kidding you. Let's see, let's go ahead and run this way and see if you can get over to the suspicious activity. There we go. Da 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 da. Okay, careful, careful, careful. There we go. Let me just make sure to chat. Uh, still working on my story at the moment. All right, let's go ahead and join in. Preparing to add suspicious, suspicious activity level 60. Our party members are about to join Collect the Wise. Oh. If they would like to join, go for it. <laughs> there we go. Suspicious activity. Let's see if we can do this. Oh, hello, Ayla's the Great. Hi, I was going to wave to you. <laughs> uh, what, Ukasi? You were playing a thief. That's kind of cool. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's talk to Lightbringer Tubal Left Paw. Yeah. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and down down here. See, uh, top floor. Let's interact with this. The bed has slept in recently. Nothing. What about the wardrobe? Uh, the wardrobe contains heavy leather clothing, counter mercenaries, and animals keepers wear. Hmm. We got a journal over here. Ledger contains a detailed list of creatures for the area. There's one column for creature captured and one for creature sold. What about creature captured? Lately, Yang captured lock dogs, a uh, rock dogs, breeze riders, and skelk. The last capture was from a few days ago, but no. Creature type is listed. What about a creature sold? There's only one recent entry. A variety of gravelings from Ascalon. Hmm. Oh, we found something? Okay, let's go ahead and go down here. Search down the ground. Oh, let's go ahead and break the pile of rocks then. There's a tunnel here. Whoa! Bunch of rock dogs and they're dead. What is all this? Oh, more rock dogs. Hello. Crazy rock dogs. Yep, these guys are mad. These guys are angry. Go and fight them all. There we go. Oh, we're getting a heal. Nice. Very nice. Look at that. It's nice to have a thief. We're pretty much similar. We in similar order? I don't know. I think we might be in the same order. I don't know. Ailes, are we in the same order or not? <laughs> Yang Ison used to put on big gladiatorial contests with his beasts. I heard he even sponsored a few of the old Destiny's Edge bouts. This must be where Yang kept his monsters. He took really good care of them. Better than his employees, that's for sure. No sign of him, though. Would he abandon all these animals to starvation? No way. Like I said, Yang liked animals better than he liked people. 
He was always looking for new creatures to train. I wouldn't be surprised if he finally found something he couldn't tame. Very possible. Maybe something in the cages will give us a clue to what's happened to him. Alright. Let's check the cage. Oh, yeah, Basilisk. Hello, the Basilisk. <laughs> Let's go ahead and stun him. And go ahead and attack him like this. There we go. Alright, so we got full frontal force pretty much with us. The clones and all. There we go. Took everything down. Let's see. We can fight. Oh, hello. Jesus. So many creatures over here. Oh my god. Just creatures after... God, where are they pouring out from? <laughs> Let's go ahead and see if we can stun them. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, wait, we don't have that ability unlocked yet. Oh, it's still on cooldown. Let's go ahead and do this. Up, oh, we have knocked down a little bit. All right, we good, we good, we good, we good. Let's go ahead and shut up, Macho. Oh, no. Oh, no. I wasn't even looking at my, at my health. A Reef Scalk. I didn't even know those were a thing. Wow. Let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Fight them off. There we go. There we go, deal with them. Let's go and summon the clones. Come on, summon clones. Oh, summon clones, summon clones. Summon clones, summon clones. Come on, there we go, summon clones. And heal. There we go, that's what we needed. Man, I was, I'm not doing good. <laughs> I'm not being careful whatsoever. Alright, another enemy is more... Oh god, destroy troll over there. Jesus. Let's go ahead and fight that off with a sword instead. Push back, or run back from it. We go, with this. fight destroy a harpy. That's, uh, that's quite a creature over there, Jesus. What kind of things did this guy keep under here? So he kept some kind of beast under here or something. Well, I mean, that's what he did. This, all these things are beasts, just absolute beasts. Let's go ahead and teleport out of that. Oh, perfect block, sort of. <laughs> sort of. Let's go ahead and heal up real quick. Breeze Riders, all right, we got some Breeze Riders as well. God, how many creatures are gonna be pouring out of this place completely? Let's see, let's go ahead and attack them. There we go, send a clone out to explode. There we go, clone. Let's see, I think we're good for now. Maybe? I think we'll be safe. A bunch of creatures are just running out now. Let's see if we can look for more of them. And we got some Basilisk over here. And Reef Skelk. Reef Skelk and Basilisk. Uh, we should, we could probably, yeah, it's probably best if we just go ahead and fight them and take care of them right here, right now. Then do anything else. Up, oh, go ahead and go invulnerable for that ability. I don't want to be, you know, paralyzed. That'd be the worst. Heal up real quick. Stun? Nope, not that ability. Oh, there we go. We can use the gun to stun this guy. I think we got everything, actually. Hmm. We got a bunch of chickens running out. Go, chicken, go! <laughs> You'll be fine. And more enemies. Oh, there we go. We got some Skulk. Oh, that's not, that's not a big deal. That's just a couple of Skulk. That's nothing over here. Let's go ahead and shut off the mantle of pain. And see if he can go do some damage over here. There we go. It's doing a pretty decent amount of damage, honestly. Yo, I think we're good. You're good? Okay, cool. Oh, oh no, we got some, a lot more bees coming in here. A lot more bees. Let's see what we can do here. Let's go ahead and speed up the, the ability to attack them. Make sure every clone is, you know, up and ready. And we're gonna fight in numbers here. We're not gonna fight in, explos in exploding the minions. We're gonna fight in numbers. And we got a Doliak. Hello, Doliak. Let's go this way. Ooh, this guy actually got an ability, like a protection ability. And there's a corpse over here. Ooh. Wow, he's seen better days. He was killed recently. Be careful. Whatever it was, it might still be there. Over there. Oh god. Oh, it's oh risen creature. Oh, Jesus. What kind of thing is this? Oh. Let's go and summon some clones. Let's fight this thing in numbers and see if we can weaken it as best as we possibly can. Ow, that kinda hurt. Let's go ahead and teleport back to it. Recovery. Recovery is the way to do it. Let's go summon everything and just go full hamster in this thing as best as we possibly can. Damn it, I should have charged up Mantra of Pain because now it's really vulnerable. So, oh, actually, no, you know, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna send out clones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. There we go. Yeah, weapon swap. That's how you gotta do it. That's how you gotta do. <laughs> Got it. It's Orion. That monster was from Orr. It can't be. Not here. Not in Lion's Arch. Calm down. Have you seen one of those before? It's really rare. Some kind of special scout. I read about the only other sighting of one when I worked the file rooms. Lightbringer. That operative saw it in Port Stalwart just before Zaitan's minions wiped out the town. Zaitan only sends them when he's about to send in his whole army. Lion's Arch is in danger. Tybalt, are you absolutely sure about this? Trust me. We need to warn the Lion Guard. 
Meet me at their fortress on Claw Island, and let's hope we're not too late. What's on Claw Island? The Claw Island fortress stands in the harbor of Lion's Arch. It's the last defense against invasion from the sea. If Shaitan's going to attack the city, its minions will have to fight their way past the fort. Alright, out to fort we go. As soon as we get this thing over here, what do we got? Gloves, ooh. Nice looking gloves, I guess. Nice looking. I don't know. I, I can't tell if they're real nice looking or not. <laughs> let's go ahead and uh, I guess let's pick one of those. Uh, let's pick this one. Yeah, it was. That was a really cool thing, actually. Let's go ahead and exit the place. And let's go and see if you can, you know, talk to the lion's arc. Actually, first, let's get this waypoint over here. Because I want to be able to get every single waypoint that's possible. Let's see. Let's go over to the next uh, mission. Where's. Hold on. Hold up, hold up. Before we go anywhere, let me go ahead. Nope, don't want quick travel here. What do we gotta go? We gotta go this way. Hmm. Uh, best way to get over there. Really, we don't really have. Well, we could probably go to the Brute Cost Ward Waypoint. That's the closest thing we got. I didn't really get to discover a lot of lands. Arc. I really should though. I might need to look up some guides on you know get certain difficult vistas and all. But other than that. That'd be kind of cool. Also, I really like the outfit on Colette. I kind of like the whole, like, order coloration. Especially when we're doing, you know, order-based missions. So what I think I'm going to do, when it comes to doing missions of the, um... I don't know, um, doing the missions of, you know, the order and stuff. Or something that has to do with the order. I think what I'm going to do is dye Colette's armor in, you know, the order colors. So it kind of, you know, kind of fits the, I guess, the motif and kind of fits the whole thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go this way, actually. And I could probably take a break from here now that I'm thinking about it. Hmm. Yeah, I could probably take a break right around here. Let's go ahead and go this way. And I'm gonna get to the next location, and I'm gonna sign out right over here. So as I get, you know, the waypoint. Let's go ahead and get, like, this. There we go. Uh, where's it? Where's it? Gunnery's range? This, this is not range. It's nothing here. <laughs> sometimes I mean, I'm, sometimes I think like, why are waypoints even there? Or like, why certain you know points of interest are there if there's nothing interesting about them? Oh god, oh god. Well, we we all right. I think we are okay. <laughs> Ow, that kind of hurt, but I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start up the next part of the Lion Guard campaign. There we go. Let's do this. Yeah, the Battle of Claw Island. This should be something kind of cool. I never actually got to like. I don't know, it looks like the story is getting a lot more interesting with like, these, I guess, risen spirit animal looking things. Let's see, what, what have we got to go here? Uh, let's go talk to the person here, there we go. We found hadn't been in Lion's Arch long. We may still have time. We have to find the Watch Commander and convince him to ready the defenses. Alright. Okay, let's look for the Watch Commander. If he is on a map somewhere, we should be able to spot him. Oh, he's right over here. Do you smell it? Smell? No. But the back of my neck keeps itching for some reason. I don't like this. So something, some, even the soldiers I feel that something is definitely wrong. So that's already a giveaway. Not sure. Let's go check it out though. Let's go see. Uh, try and... I research the situation extensively. The Orions will strike here on Claw Island. Hmm. Alright, let's talk to the commander real quick. Thank you for meeting with us, Watch Commander Talon. We have grave news. One of Zaitan's minions breached the city. We destroyed it, but the creature was likely scouting for a much bigger force. An attack is imminent. A what? That's extremely unlikely. We've seen no sign of an impending attack. If there was to be one... We know of it. Tybalt left poor. It is you, my friend. I should have known your order would be aware of the danger. Cogs and gears. It's Traherne. We're lucky you're on the island. Convince this guy that we're serious. First, let me introduce you to my partner. One of the truest and most loyal friends I've ever had. Lightbringer, this is Traherne. One of the Silvari Firstborn. He's Tyria's foremost scholar on Zaitan and Orr, and a friend of the Order. A fleet of dead ships has launched from the Straits of Devastation. The Risen sail beneath a cloak of stealth. Whatever you've seen, it can't be a real threat. Claw Island can withstand any assault. Speak with my commanders. 
Brack and Mira. Once you review our defenses, you'll realize there's nothing to fear. Somebody tells me that there's gonna be something to fear. Also, let me check the chat here. Somebody PM me real quick. Let's see, it's difficult for me to keep track of chat and like, everything. If you need someone to help with a particular person's story, feel free to ask. If you struggle with it, no need to apply. Gotcha. Well, thank you. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's go ahead and run over here and get to Deputy Brack over there. And Asuran. All right. Let's go ahead and see and if you can talk to Deputy Brack, see what they're up to, and see how the defenses are holding up. Commander Talon that the gunnery emplacements are ready. The fortress here on Claw Island houses more 24-pounders than a ship of the line. We'll be ready to fight the Orients. Don't doubt that. Check on Deputy Mira. She's in charge of the beach patrols. Alright, beach patrols. Let's go ahead and do this. Need to come off, but I'll be on tomorrow. Alright. Alright. Uh, see ya. TY4 adventuring with me. Alright, let's go ahead and go this way and talk to the Deputy Mira, see how the Beach Patrol is doing. Welcome to Beach Patrol, the most dangerous duty on Claw Island. Deputy, a massive attack is on its way from Orr. You must prepare your troops. If we fall, our last order is to light those three signal towers. We have to warn Lion's Arch if the fortress is lost. In a hundred years, they've never once been lit. We're very proud of that. Deputy Mira, sound the alarm. There are undead on the beach. If an invasion's really coming, we'll need everyone on...